Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm working on my Honda Civic T16 engine and I'm at the stage where I'm putting the uh, pistons on and I've run into a problem with the connecting rod bolts. So I've ordered ARP bolts to replace uh, the original ones because obviously you're not supposed to reuse uh, rod bolts because they stretch when you torque them. Um, so I've uh, tried to put this through in here and I realized that it doesn't actually quite go through all the way and it gets stuck because uh, this actually has a small taper which you can't really see and also if you look very closely here uh, there's there's a small lip in there um, where the bolt actually catches on um, so obviously the right thing to do is to take to the machine shop but if you're stuck like I am and have limited resources uh, you could do what I'm doing obviously this is not the recommended way um, but it is an alternative you could consider so all you need is a cordless power drill like this and you attach it on get yourself some sandpaper I've got 600 grit here cut into uh, little strips like this you'll need a a fair bit depending on how much material you need to take off in my case you just I just need to take off a very slight amount um, and all you do is you hold a hold the sandpaper like this and you just yeah rotate the drill and you can see over here um, this is where the taper is you can see that line there so I actually need to take off more material so that taper actually flattens out now be careful you don't want to take off too much material so it's a good idea to periodically put your bolt in um, and then basically just check um, once you get this uh, through the rod cap put your bolt or sorry the nut on and then just torque it down not too much just slightly and see if the bolt actually pulls through so in this case I don't think it's gonna pull through because I've done a few other bolts before and I needed to take more material off but you can see that it's already seizing in there I'm putting a fair bit of pressure but it's seizing in there and the, the head of the bolt isn't isn't anywhere near the that flat surface there so I'm gonna continue sanding and uh, yeah I'll pick up from there all right guys so this is what it looks like um, it's, it's taken a fair bit off uh, now I don't know if removing that the top coating will have any detrimental effects um, I don't think it will things like corrosion all I, I think it shouldn't be a problem obviously because it's, it will be covered in, in oil when it's in the engine so I don't think that will be an issue but now you can see that this goes in a lot further um, yeah and it still it still has a little bit of a gap over there but when I tighten the nut down it will pull it will pull through and that's basically what you want it to be like you as I said you don't want to take off too much material and have it loose in there you actually want it to be tight obviously I'm not torquing it down to the correct specs I'm just checking I'm just showing you over here that this pulls it pulls all the way through without uh, torquing it too much so yeah that's uh, how I've done it so if this helps you guys out just uh, leave a comment below thanks for watching